Hello, this video is to show you how easy it is to draw an electrical circuit with Activate Hyperspice. In this presentation, we will cover electrical model based approach, the SPICE technology by using accurate and fast circuit simulation. There are clear benefits on using Hyperspice. First, you are using a standard language for electronic description. You are using a solver based on newton raphson methods, so you have a better accuracy. You have electrical error detection and, of course, the speed, without any compilation time. Adding to that, you can use foundry models or import any kind of SPICE libraries that you can find on the web. SPICE is a common language to design an electrical circuit. Having a true SPICE simulator inside Activate was a must to have accurate simulations for electrical and electronic designs. On the web you will find easily different SPICE models coming from uh, electronic providers. Uh, but in Activate Hyperspice, the interface is very easy to use and you will be able to draw your own circuits by yourself easily. Let me show you. The SPICE interface is modelized by the palette, uh, which is called Hyperspice. And uh, so inside this palette, you will find an analog folder, which is representing all the device that you can use for designing electronic circuits. First, in the interface, you will find all the elements to, to, that you can use to connect Activate to Spice or Spice to Activate. And in this basic folder, you can find any elements that you need to uh, draw an electrical circuit. You will find also a model folder that you can use to redefine any models that you want. Let me show you now how it is easy to draw a simple RC circuit with the SPICE palette. So you can drag and drop the elements you need on the, on the board. Here we are placing a voltage source which is a sinus. We need also a resistor that we have to rotate with the row on the top of the activate window. Then we place a capacitor and we can set the value for the resistance and uh, the capacitor as well. Uh, for the first step, we can set the capacitance to 1 microfarad. Okay, we put the ground and then we connect all the elements. Now to see the results, we have to put a scope, which is able to draw the voltage results of our circuit for the simulation. So we are going to put two inputs and uh, we are drawing the input and the output together. Now we can make the simulation. So we are setting the simulation parameters. So final time to one second and run the simulation. We can then display the results and we can see the output according to the inputs. To get a better view, we can change the final time and get a better accuracy on the results on the waveform behavior. Now we can play with the capacitor value and by changing it, we can see that the output is drastically changed according to the input. In conclusion, as you can see, it's very easy to draw a circuit with Hyperspice Activate. Let me show you now some other properties on a simple BGT amplifier that I made, which is containing a BGT with a different 
instance parameters that you can redefine. In this circuit, we want to display the results, but also store the results inside a matrix that you can reuse, store on disk, or connect them to another tool, or redirect the results into a specific parameters. Inside the scarp, you can play with the values, you can zoom, you can also display data points and uh, so it helps you to have um, specific values uh, on specific time point. Now, imagine that you want to reuse your block. So you will have to define what we call a super block, which is equivalent to a sub in SPICE and so you can select all the devices you want to put inside a block and these blocks will be seen as a hierarchical blocks that you can instantiate as many times you want. We can check first that the results are identical and then we can go inside the super blocks to see that activate automatically inserted uh, input and output blocks. Okay, we can go on the top and now what we are going to make is to duplicate the instance of the block, connect the block with the same inputs at, uh, at the first one, extend the scope to be able to plot the result of the second instance and now we are ready to make the simulation with the second instance oh we can see that the results are similar for the second block because we just copy it but now we can go inside the block itself modify the value go on the top again and we made a simulation we can see that the results is different for the second blocks. Last, if needed, you can use the SPICE menu button to see the SPICE netlist that will be simulated. Now let me show you a more real test case that is representing an electrical vehicle model modelizing SPICE. So you can find different blocks as the battery, the filters, the inverter control, and the cable models, and of course uh, the motor at the final stage. The typical things inside this model is that we are using a specific block which is uh, defining scattering parameters and these parameters are coming from the simulation of uh, an electromagnetic tools called FECO and which is able to modelize the cable behavior of the car. When running such test case, which is using different parameters at any part of the circuit, you can, you can go down while simulating at any part, in any part of the hierarchy and visualize circuits at any time. By making a transient simulation of such circuits, you can visualize all the commutations produced by all the switches. At the end of the simulation, we are producing an FFT of them. The model button is offering you these capabilities. So, setting parameters that you can use anywhere in your circuit. Moreover, you can use the tab finalization button that offer you the possibility to add a script 
at the end of the simulation for the post processing. Here we are using our ML language to make our FFT, which is fully compatible with MATLAB. Please visit Alter Forum, a place where a user can interact, ask questions, exchange informations, and post about any electronic questions and more.